uh, first of all thank you to give me this opportunity my name is amita i am married and i live with my husband i have five family members including me uh, i completed uh, i completed my graduation uh, uh, since 2016 then after i got a five years job then after i got married then i came here in africa okay so right now you are in south africa yes sir okay which city of south africa are you in right now uh, i am uh, in kolwezi 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 city kolwezi yes. city okay fine so how do you feel there yes how do you sir, feel sir uh, i feel good you feel, feel good? good yes sir okay better than india no sir india is good rather than this always okay india is better than uh, that south africa fine yes sir so where did you work ma'am uh, you just told me uh, uh, for 5 years you worked somewhere where did you work yes sir i work at surat i work at surat uh, for 5 years uh, uh, my job is uh, property valuation and my position is uh, operation executive okay fine and right Make now you are not working anywhere okay. no sir may i know the reason anywhere. why you are not working anywhere because you are quite educated you had already worked because, somewhere uh, yes sir yes sir because in here uh, no have any opportunity uh, and the second thing uh, different type of culture our language different their language are different first of all when i uh, do job so first of all um, i learn Uh, local language as well as french then after i do job and uh, i have a goal to uh, i have become a so i i uh, i do job in future in africa okay fine so how come you are here in africa your husband is working here that is why you are here Yes, my husband is here. That's why I am come here. So he is working in any company or is a businessman there? Our partnership business, uh, for transportation. That's why. Okay, fine. And how did you come to know about English Home? Because English Home, uh, is operated from India, right? And you are right now in South Africa. Yes, sir. and uh, i think before mm-hmm. joining english home you did not know about me you did not know about english home right so how did you come to know about english home who told yes, you sir. about these classes uh, sir uh, mostly uh, all day i am free huh? and uh, i i watch these uh, instagram videos and uh, sometimes facebook so i found find out the on this uh, whatsapp sorry i find uh, find out uh, instagram then i after i watch video on youtube then after i join the i uh, i talk i talk with mem and then i i after join english home because uh, my improvement in english as i can see you belong to gujarat right you are from surat and right now you are living in south africa so yes, when you came to know about english home through yes, instagram uh, didn't you have fear in your mind that uh, there can be fraud or if i join classes if i pay fee what will happen after that didn't you have this thing in your mind when uh, so first of uh, first time i showed uh, this uh, english home so i thought about but then after i saw not- Uh, on youtube and i showed you then after i i did join okay uh, when you uh, saw our first video that time you had in your mind that uh, it can be fraud okay or uh, it is only the video but when you uh, went through our youtube channel you watched many videos of many students right so that time you got the surety yes, that is a nice place it is the place where i can get connected and learn english 
okay so how many days have you passed here in these classes yes sir uh, i'm asking i completed how many... two months two months okay so have you got some improvement or you are still there where you started from yes sir um, uh, i still i think i i do improvement i you have got some speaking. improvement yes sir okay so what what's your experience sir? what's your experience uh, of english home classes <clears throat> so it is uh, very good and uh, i talk i say be honestly uh, when i was in a 10 standard when i was in a school so i don't like english okay i don't like english <laughs> then after uh, when, uh, then after i got uh, uh, i study at a college so okay. in college every subject in english okay so i am very uh, uh, scared about that and i learned something in english my own then i after passed the college then after uh, i got job and then uh, after married i i did ielts okay because uh, after 12th i after i complete 12th i i cannot i i couldn't not uh, read and write i i couldn't read the english okay even that's why i after got married i after did ielts uh, i think so 8 to 9 months then after i came here and i again joined english firm okay so you did the preparation of ielts You cleared the exam. Yes, sir. You cleared the exam of IELTS. No, sir. Not my goal is not. My goal was not exam, but my goal was uh, learning English and somebody front of me speak and uh, uh, listen. Somebody to speak to me, so I easily understand them. That's why. Okay. I so did. Uh, you studied in English. Gujarati board school. Yes, sir. okay that is the yes, reason why you could not understand english properly but i think now you can understand english yes, properly sir. you can give the answers also as such you yes, are making sir. mistakes in the grammar but uh, mistakes are always there with the people when they do any activity so i don't think so you should get now you should get nervous now yes sir it's fine you can communicate with anyone yes, and sir. you have completed a basic you have come on the advanced level now still we have uh, 20 22 days left in this batch where you will be learning some extraordinary things so it is a good thing so when you are coming back to india you will stay there forever in south africa you will be coming back to india also yes sir i come in back in india after 3 uh, or 4 years okay. then you will settle down here only in india or you will go back to south africa again I don't know in future. You don't know about the future. What happened, yes, sir? Okay, fine. So your hobby is uh, uh, what? What you told about your hobby? I forgot. <clears throat> no, sir. Uh, uh, my hobby uh, hobby is uh, uh, when I was a child. I used to watch the uh, horror movie. Sit with sit with my friend and making uh, make the drama. Then after did the dance and sing a song, and uh, played outdoor activities. Uh, then after I I was in college, so I uh, I played badminton and volleyball, and uh, now my hobby is uh, listening music and uh, play badminton. Right. and uh, learning uh, english and uh, improving english i try to it this is also a hobby now <laughs> now you have started liking okay. english <laughs> yes sir it is a simple thing when we don't understand the things we hate that and if we start understanding we start liking also so uh, you do not do anything entire day yes, except sir. for having classes of english 
and uh, doing some domestic chores. Uh, how do you pass your time? Morning to evening, you are in a different country where you don't find the people of your own country, of your own community. How do you pass your time? Sir, uh, uh, firstly, I woke up. I wake up in uh, at uh, eight o'clock. Then after I fresh. Then after I made, I cooked food. Then after uh, me and my husband uh, uh, take dinner together. Then after taking dinner, I uh, uh, try I to improve breakfast. my English. Uh, dinner so or breakfast. I. Breakfast in the morning. Uh, break, breakfast. Then after we lunch, and uh, uh, I try to uh, improve my English. So I watch English uh, movie on Netflix uh, platform and uh, listening English music. Then after I joined uh, English home class. After joining English home class, uh, I get fresh. And I go to the prayer. After came back, I I uh, I come back. Uh, uh, I uh, cook the food. Then after, uh, we take dinner. And uh, me and my husband is a uh, night owl, so we are sleep late. Yes. Then and after we go back to dinner. Okay. Uh, right now it is uh. 17 past 8 here in India. Timing is 17 past 8. 8 17, right? What is the timing there right now yes, sir. in South Africa? Uh, timing is uh, uh, 10, uh, 10 past 6. 10 past, 10 six. past to 6. Okay, evening. Okay. Fine. Yes, sir. Fine, ma'am. Uh, so your husband uh, is there with you. Uh, only husband is there with you or you have kids also or you have any other family members or relatives in South Africa? Uh, no. Uh, in Kolwezi, me, me and my husband, but my crazy, my cousin, brother-in-law and uh, sister-in-law uh, all, all in... Uh, um uh, uh, Sasa. Okay, they are in another city, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Is your husband able to speak English? Yes, sir. My husband is speak English and local language and sometimes French. Also. French also. So you told told your husband about English home classes that uh, I am joining these classes and I want to improve. Did you tell him about uh, our classes. Yes, sir. I told him. Okay, you must have told before two months, right? Now you have passed two months. So, does your husband say anything about your English? Yes, sir. It's, uh, he said to me, uh, your English uh, is improved rather than past. Okay. Your English you is better very than... very well. Yes, and I also uh, when uh, I also message my sister in law, she live in Canada, so I also uh, uh, do message to her in English. I talk with him, her okay. in English. Oh, I'm very happy to know that you have improved your English, and uh, uh, there is a little bit contribution of English home and mine. And the uh, entire credit goes to you because you worked hard. It is very difficult for a housewife to attend these types of classes. As I can see, there are very little kids in these uh, classes. They are school goers. Uh, you don't feel shy. Mm -hmm. You attend the class and you do all the activities. You complete your homework also. Try to speak English. And I can see that for two months, continuously, you have been joining classes. Some days you uh, yes, get absent because of some circumstances, but uh, still you have showed the continuity. So this is the nice thing about you. And yes, you are a very hardworking yes. student. Thank you, sir. And uh, sir, I uh, 
I told you uh, when I joined first time. So I saw our group in May. Uh, almost student are uh, in schoolhood. So I told my husband uh, in my group all the children at school level. So my husband say it's okay. Uh, your uh, important not is a school level student, but your important is English. So you can you can join. Don't be shy. So I say it's okay. No problem. But I think you have enjoyed with these kids. Yes, sir. Hmm. Had I you been enjoyed. there? Ha. Huh? Had you been there in adult any adult batch? Hey, this is the adult batch. School goers are there, but it is eight o'clock. So most of the time, school goers join these classes. Ah, uh, if you come in nine o'clock, mm -hmm. you will find the ladies of your age. But uh, I think you have enjoyed yes, with sir. these kids. These are very nice kids, and they speak English very well. You know, they never make you feel that you are yes, older sir. than them, right? Yes, sir. And I also, sir, feel that I learn new things for our group, mm. uh, school student. Right, I from your group, you have learned something. many good things. <laughs> Yes, sir. Good. All right. So it's nice to know about you. Thank you very much for interacting.